Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Heroes of Storm again and I'm playing as Muradin Bronzebeard. I sure sure it's going to be bots again until I get used to the mechanics. Because I'm still not used to them. And I'm this Bronzebeard dwarf. Um, it's famous, I think, um, from the in World of Warcraft world. I'm not too knowledgeable about the dwarves. Sadly, I don't know too much about him. All I know is he has two other brothers. <laughs> so this should be interesting and fun. His abilities are quite similar to the warriors. Oh, he's got a stun, a AoE, a leap. So it should be interesting. And so today we're going to be playing a map called Dragon Shrine. In this one we have two shrines. We need to capture both and then at the middle someone can capture the Dragon Shrine to become the Dragon Warrior which gives great pushing power. It's really interesting and a bit like Overgrowth is it. It's instead of who collects the seeds and it's only one player, one side can get the Dragon Knight. Only one side can get it so you have to make sure you get the control of the shrines and get that power of, of the Dragon. Yes! Go oh, first blood. Oh, I think I may be... Yep. Denial. I got it, I got it, I got it. And one shine down. I'll leave that up to Nova. Actually, I'll help Nova. She's having a bit of trouble with him. We need to capture the shrine so we can... Yes, we got both. All that it means is someone to capture that dragon. I think I'll head might try and help with it. Move it. Um the thing about him is he also has a passive that's quite similar to of Garen's. And I've got the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> See See, W. Just a short delay charge and knock the target back. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, apparently I can do my... And I just did that apparently as well, which was hilarious. The Dragon Knight's a lot more squishy than the Knight Terror, but he can, I think he's more of a threat to the actual enemy players than the actual structures. Anyway, let's see what I've got. Oh shit, I've got one the Dragon Knight dies, be sure to run because you actually come out of the dragon's stonal structure, so the players might hammer on you if you're ganged up on. Let's see. Third wind, increased health restoration, and Skullcracker. Ooh, I think I'll go for Skullcracker. That seems fun. No. Oh shit, no! And. Material's passive is a bit like Cold War. He will blow up. He'll become invulnerable and blow up when he dies. My passive power is. Let's see. Trumble pass through. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. Ah, you stunned me. I'm gonna go for more of a fighter than a tanky one on Muradin Bronzebeard. So I'll be able to hit them a lot better and stun more. Actually, he's more of a CC, so he'd be good for um, Jim Reina if he chose the Executioner talent. 
because you could stun them a lot, resulting in a lot of extra damage. Only a fit. Yep, I can throw a stone bolt to hit them. It's even better. Now, another thing about this what I find hilarious is his ultimate, which we'll get to see in a moment. I know that I've not unlocked the second one yet, so I've not really got to see it, but one of his ultimates he actually pretty much turns huge, gains health, and it reduces crowd control on him. I did not mean that. I apologise for that. Ah. Yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. You're probably wondering why do we have big ass minions out of nowhere. It's a system called the... What they call the game? Hold on a second. The camps, they're just the uh, jungle camps. Instead of giving you a buff or extra gold or some stuff like that, these camps just give you super minions that give you extreme pushing power. So they're really helpful to kill. You can kill them when you can, if you can, but they're also quite strong, so having an ally back you up will help a lot. <laughs> so yeah, keep, try and keep an eye on them and make sure... Another thing about these mercenary camps is if you kill them, you need to still capture it so enemy teams can come out of nowhere and kill you and then take the camp for themselves. So you have to be extra careful about that. Now, I think, oh yep, run up. I want the dragon. The power of the dragon. Yoink. This should be awesome. Since my teammates are up here, I better come and help them. I did it again. Uh, yeah, he's really interesting and his pushing power as well as his ability, Savage Charge, can knock out any way so I'll say that he's a troublesome character making it hard to push, you can just knock him away. Like that. And it just knocks him a bit further away as well as stuns him for a second. I think he also does quite decent damage too. I don't know why, I just find it hilarious every time I do that. But be careful when you use it, cause you might save an enemy's life by headbutting them away instead of, you know, helping your teammates burn them alive. Uh, I think we should try and get a camp if we can, or is that one gone? Yeah, that one's gone. So I'm gonna go take, try and take this camp, the Bruiser. Which can help push. If I can take them on eyes. Nope, Darien's coming to help, which is brilliant. Why he's standing there, I have no idea. Ah, we need help. And we have it. And we got it. It doesn't take long at all, so you don't have to worry too much about it when you're capturing it. Choose a talent. And ooh, no talent. Let's see. Underclap heals me and basic damage to me anyway. So I think I'll go for this healing strike. Time to mount up and go in for the assault. I'm not taking that on my one, so I'll just help my teammates here. Power gathers within the shrines. Unleash the dragon's wrath. Oh, I think the dragon shrines are up. So I think we head down to bot lane and get that shrine. 
Actually, I think I'll help Nova. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yoink again! <laughs> well, I don't know why, I'm just loving being the thing. I mean, apart from the fact I'm a big dragon, eh? It's just being completely awesome in general. And being able to do all this. Just run away, little Diablo! Run away! God, I am loving this power. Hopefully my teammates will help me in the assault. No, I got that. I don't know how to cancel belly, so I have to keep raising that. Go away! Do -do -do -do. Yeah. Oh well, my time's up. If you have played this game and you know any tips how to play the dragon more, I would really appreciate it. Because I don't think I'm being able to use fully use its power. And we'd like to know how. Choose a talent. Or if you've got any comments to how to play this dwarf, like if I'm choosing wrong talents or the wrong places. But it's time to show you his ult actually. See, I've just turned huge, I've gained lots of health, but I sadly did the mistake of jumping in to that kind of group. So I'm going to. Well, die. Which probably hurt a lot and was very stupid of me, but I kind of wanted to demonstrate how tank I was there against that team. I mean, I took on five people there and I survived for quite a bit before I eventually died. Oh, sadly I don't do as much damage as I had hoped, but then again, they are mostly tanks and I'm just a fighter, not an assassin. And when are the shrines up, I wonder, actually, and shoot the gummers in the camp. Oh, speak of the devil, shrines activate in 25 seconds. Am I mounted up? Yes, I am. Da 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 dum. And leaping in for the kill. I just love doing that. Well, I pretty much love doing anything that causes pain to enemies. <laughs> Let's get it on. And the shines. Nope. Ah, shit. Come on, allies, we need to have our... Actually, I think I'll let Nova have it this time. This no, turret. not be good to get. So, this should be fun. Let's see how this player plays it. Follow them to the edge of the earth and... Well, help them beat the chair of the enemy team. And yeah, we just pretty much beat them 3 against 5 and we're winning because of the Dragon Knights. So you can imagine how essential it is to get that. No! That is a demonstration of what I mean by you need to be careful when using headbutt to charge. Because you can save their life. So be careful when you're using it because if that was just an old player they probably would have ran away and got away with it. So yeah, be careful when doing that charge. You only want to use it really if you want to keep an enemy away from you while you're pushing. Like you see the Slavainar is really damaging you.
Ooh. One bite of dust. <coughs> Excuse me. No, 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 no. Bad way, not bad. Run away. As Monty Python, as um, King Arthur from Monty Python would say, run away. point of this game is just smacking anything that moves. Actually I won't use the path. No, I'm pointing yet. No need to use it. Just so you know, I might still have a few like one or two but it is in the lowest settings. That's not good news. This game is lasting longer than I thought it would. Choose a talent. Oh. Talent. Unstoppable force. I don't think I have a choice in that one. That's more like it. Oh crap, pushing hard. Yeah, guys. We need help. No, 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 no. I know I wouldn't have won that fight, but at least get away the main damager. Then she was really helping them to show the turret while the Alan Muradin would have just continuously tanked it. There can be only one Muradin! Ah, damn it. I spy a little, my little eye, someone that ran in here. Alright, who will get to use its power the same? Sweet this. Get back here. Okay, okay, you stay there. You stay there, please. Please stay there. No. Oh. I don't wanna die. I'm helping. Kill. If you've got any interesting comments like little dice so that I can prepare myself for PvP even better, I would really appreciate it. Though I've noticed most of my teammates sometimes occasionally stand around and stare into space for reasons unknown. And I don't focus on it that much. I think one of the things I'm doing wrong is not getting much uh, mercenary cancel so on my teammates and oh god what is that? Is... An enemy keep has Yay! No, oh, it was the dragon. I screw, I'm just gonna leap over the defences. I'm a gammon! I just want to show you something really close. Avenge me! Or run because you're outnumbered. Clearly. Mm, that player wasn't too smart there. Little tunnel sided. I think actually we're max level, are we? Yeah, and they're catching up level wise and we're getting a little reckless here. But we should think we should go for that mercenary camp if we can find the ping button. Ah, there it is. No, that's not it. That's not it either. What is the ping button? Ah, here we are. And 
Wait till I spawn actually, how long is that? 20 seconds. The suspense is killing me! Even though it's just a bad game. Ah. I'll just pick that. Sweet. Once we can get them out of the camp and then when the shrine spawns, go and get the dragon again. I think the enemy team has gone at once. Which I'm glad about. I would hate to go up against that thing. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! Where's the camp? There we get. Need to get the camp. Oh shit, 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 shit. Please don't die away. Oh, why there? Oh, you can enter mine in there. That's awesome. Go, go, go. Hehehe, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yes, then we will fall. And we better push harder because we've only got a minute of this, so we may as well make it worth it. Wait, time to attack that core. Go away! I said go away! And we did it! Woo! We didn't lose a bot game. That sounds... Weird to say, but oh uh, well, the players are friendly about it. And I will see you guys next time. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and if you want to see more, there's a subscription button below. See you later!